Hello everyone and welcome back to my island biscuit. This is my grandma core cat island and today we're building. We are. So the plan is to build this area right here. So the plan today is to build this area just to the left of resident services. I think I'm gonna start working on here. I gotta fill in some of this river because I don't know how much of this is gonna stay. Probably not much because I am making this a completely flat island. So I gotta get rid of that. And then it gives me, you know, a bit more of a blank space to do my own water terraforming. I did do a little bit more water terraforming off camera. I I managed to fit this little angle bridge in next to my house which I think is oh so cute and then there's kind of like a pond down here so it's not like a huge pond it's just a little pond which I can decorate around so that would be so cute I could have obviously brought it down to here but I just didn't like it it didn't make sense having it right next to the beach so anyway I would love to be able to do the market today that we planned in the last video but I still have a house on the beach so I don't really want to move the house for no reason so i'm gonna wait to do that we'll probably do that i don't know when i don't know when i, I love how i'm trying to give you an estimated date and time for when i'll be doing that but i don't know but yeah we're gonna be working on this area today i need to get rid of you goodbye don't know if i'm gonna need to fill this in today i might not because i feel like i have enough space to do what i want to do i am gonna be doing some more water terraforming and it's gonna be leading on up here but i'm not gonna do that just yet because i have I have another idea. <laughs> anyway, let's get to work. I want to do a fake building today, but I want to put it near resident services. I mean, I should have actually counted out how many squares wide I want this first. Hang on. Let's do that first. So one, two, three, I think maybe four. I think four is a good is a good distance. Also, I want it down here a little bit more. So hmm, let's see about spacing. Maybe we could do one, two, three, and then like here. That's where I could start it maybe. I think that's a good shot. It gives us enough space in front. So yes, I said I wasn't going to do any terraforming on this island as in it's going to be a completely flat island. But I did say that it's okay for me to terraform for fake buildings because how else am I supposed to make a fake building and make it a biggish building if I can't terraform? You're not going to be able to get on the top of here so it technically doesn't count. It doesn't. I did this on Primrose and Primrose was completely flat except for or some terraforming idea for some fake building so it counts it's absolutely fine that should be big enough i think i'm gonna have to take a treasure island trip real quick because i don't actually have any simple panels so i'm gonna need to go and get some because otherwise how are we gonna be able to do this anyway first of all we could probably go up here and add a code on the floor we might as well you know we might as well if i have one that is if i have a cute code for the floor i guess i could just go with this white one we're just gonna go with this this will do Ta-da, we are a genius, it's dumb. Okay, we're back, we're back, we're back. Let's see if we can make something out of this. Let's see if we can make something cute. So we do have some wood partitions. I'm gonna stick these here. I've got them in blue. I'm really loving the color blue right now. It's becoming one of my favorite colors, I think. Don't know what it is. Just, I just really like the color blue. Let's add our first simple panel. So we got this side wall one like this. And then I'm going to stick another one here. Hopefully this all matches nicely. I hope so. Because there is blue flowers on that window. So hopefully it does. Let's put another one in. And then another one. I have done these in order because... You know, it makes life easier. <laughs> right, we need to put these here. Oh, that's a white one. I don't want to use the white one. I wanted to use the blue. Actually, maybe the white would look nice. Let me let me see. I'm going to put it this way around so that you can see the back of it rather than the front. Um, I think this is the white one. Stick it there. Down we go. Let's go and have a look, sees. It's kind of cute. At the moment, I'm not keen on the blue wooden fence, but we shall we shall see. I'm going to put a bit of a custom code underneath because we're about to put some more storefronts down. I think this is going to be too much. Oh, no, I kind of like it. I like the blue. I just I feel like that wooden partition is too much yeah see i don't like the blue on it so now i'm gonna have to go back up and take it away unless there might be an easier option for me here i could obviously do this don't pick up the simple panels she did she picked up the simple panels i officially hate her do you know what i'm just gonna do what i need to do i'm gonna pick all this up put it all back down i'm gonna swap <laughs> these fences over actually in fact i might just not use the fences after all that i've just picked everything up i gotta try and figure out now what piece is what i get it they can't label these things i understand that but please make it easier <laughs> please make it easier for us to see maybe like a tiny little preview of what the code is 
that is on our customization that would make life so much easier oh oh my god i was gonna say although this hasn't been that stressful but i can't find the last window there it is we did it All right i think that's gonna look better let's add our storefronts back in so yeah we got the white ones up here and the blue ones down there it's just to mix the colors up a little bit make it a little bit more fun you know All right don't worry about the rest of the weird bits of terraforming behind and at the side i just want to make sure that i get this looking cute first and then we'll worry about that so i do have a door we have a little wooden door simple panel and then i've got a curtain to stick here because i really like seeing the curtains i want to make sure it looks nice if it doesn't look nice i'm going to move the curtain oh no i think it looks quite cute maybe we could put one of the wooden partitions in front no see i just don't like it i'm gonna get a white one i have come back with two different colors so we have hopefully this is the white one nope this is the blue one okay there's the white one i think the white one looks really cute although it stands out so much maybe the pink no i just don't like it i just i just don't like it i think what i'm gonna do is change my mind by the way the weather has been so weird here today it's been raining and then it was sunny and then it was raining and now it's sunny and then it was raining that's all it's done all day it's horrible it's making me feel really like off <laughs> i have used a curtain on a bill before i think it was on honeybee okay that's looking a lot better that's a lot better than what it did look like so we're going to put a window in now. I think this is the window it is. And then we're going to stick the other side piece in. And I'm going to go back over to this bridge and see if I like it. Okay, that looks a lot better. I really like it. I think it looks kind of cute. I kind of want the curtain in the middle. You know what? I think it's the curtain that's throwing me off. I don't know if I like it. I don't think I like the curtain. <laughs> right, the curtain's got to go. Oh my gosh. Right, this is how this video is going, is it? <laughs> right, let's put the window back in. So we have, I think this is the window. This is the window. And then, oh no, I need to go back down. I need to grab this piece. Right, let's pop it in. And then that will definitely look better. That's how we had it before. <laughs> we should have just left it. And this is why you leave your terraforming around your fake buildings till last minute to get rid of because you don't know what you're gonna do this looks cute i like it a lot better i feel like i need some more simple panels here though so i'm just gonna go grab two more okay that's slightly better right it's slightly better it's not my favorite thing that i've ever built but it will do right now to get rid of all the little terraforming bits around oh no there we go they're all gone the only issue is i hate these little side bits where it looks like you know it actually looks like terraforming it's actually kind of annoying so so I'm like, do I have to stick some storefronts there too? I think I'm going to have to. Right, let's grab some. Okay, so we have two. I'm just going to make sure I like them first. I like it in the white. The white and the blue look so cute. I wish we could get these storefronts in pink, but we can't. Like, who at Nintendo said, nah, you can't have them in pink? We would have loved them in pink. Okay, remember, there's going to be trees and stuff around, but I think that's all right. It's not, it's not the best. But I think it's okay. Maybe a tree will save us. I have the tree. I don't think it's going to go there because of the terraforming. I've just realized. Yeah, see, it doesn't. Oh, this game bugs me some days. So I'm going to have to stick it here. There we go. Okay, I think it's definitely looking better. I think we need another tree here. A pink one. So I'm going to grab another tree. All right, back over the bridge we go because we need to see what it looks like. I'm going to pop in a cedar as well, just behind the pink tree on the left, just to give a little bit more height. Actually, I think I'm going to do that now. Okay, we have the cedar. I think it will look nice just here, just behind. Oh yeah, that looks so much better already. Right, now we can actually put down some more of the custom code to make everything feel a little bit better. Because <laughs> at the moment, it's a little bit odd, but once we've decorated it, it should hopefully look really cute, really nice. We don't need to worry about this side because obviously the tree is there. I need to bring a pathway across. Oh, you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that lovely dirt code. So you know the single one by Boys Crossing. I'm going to use this because I love it. I think if we just go to there for now and then let's do this bit too. Also, let me know your thoughts on fake buildings on islands. Do you like building them? Do you always build them? Have you never built them? Do you not like building them? Let me know. I need to know all your thoughts about it. I feel like a lot of us like seeing them, but some of us don't like building it because to me, sometimes they're a little bit stressful, especially 
you know, if you just can't figure out how you want it to look. I mean, I feel like this has come out cute in the end. I quite like it. I think it looks quite adorable. I might even do another one next to it, like a small one, but I might stick an actual villager house here because we haven't actually used any buildings yet, apart from my house. So let's plan out where we can put a villager house. Maybe we could stick the villager like just here because we don't want them too close to the tree because otherwise it will get rid of the tree. Actually, no, it can probably go there, right? Because there's still a gap. Yeah, you can go there. I don't want you to get behind the fake building. Just purely based on the fact because we don't overly decorate the buildings. I'm not the biggest fan of building them, basically. If you've known me for a little while, you've been here a while. You know I'm not the biggest fan of trying to make them look too realistic. I think this is like my limit. This is my limit for fake buildings. Do you know what? Maybe if we bring you out. No. <laughs> Push it back in, push it back in, it goes. But yeah, this is kind of my limit to fake buildings. Oh, maybe we should finish you off just about here. I think if we finish it there, we might be able to get away with doing like some fencing to kind of separate the, the houses because this is a little cottage. I want to do a little pathway up to here to resident services. So maybe we could actually do that first. By the way, I don't think I have any new villagers to show you today. I haven't got anyone else new yet. I need to start getting some more cats moved in because we're going to be doing their houses as we go along. So we need to make sure we have those cats. I like breaking the pathways up. It doesn't always work with this pathway though, just because of the little stones as the border around it. I think, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work if I break this up. I'm going to try it. If I don't think it looks nice, I'm going to join them together. I want to do like a little patch here and then end this one here. And then maybe it will look cute. No, see, I don't know why. I just don't think it looks right. It does, but it doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, we'll leave it. We'll, we'll see how we get on. We'll see. If we change our mind, we can just change it. It's not too much of an issue. Right, what we do need now, though, is fencing. Okay, part of me really wants to use the vertical board fence, so I'm going for it. I love the vertical board fence. It's my favorite fence in the whole entire game. Also, though, we do have this bit. I think maybe the stone fencing would look best here. Right, so yeah, let's pop some of the stone fencing along here. I'm going to leave little gaps because, like I said, I like it to look like it's broken. So by doing the little gaps i feel like you can create that illusion also i love this stream this river going right behind resident services i might have to try and incorporate that because that's actually what was here originally i haven't got rid of the original river yet i kind of want to incorporate that into our our island because i really like it okay so we're definitely gonna need more trees i need to block this part off so you can't go behind here i don't think i want to go too much further here though because i don't know where it's gonna lead so we may not decorate this bit today just thought i'd do a little pre-warning i did pick up a wild log bench which i thought would look really nice by the river once we stuck maybe a little bit of flowers or a little bit <laughs> i thought maybe once we stuck some flowers here and this side and some bushes it could look quite cute i think it would look quite adorable i also really want to stick down some grass code or flower code actually we might do the the daisies if we just stick some of that there i know it doesn't meet but it's under the tree but it, it's okay because we're about to put stuff in front so i've got a small round table which i thought was really cute and we've got a little ranch chair i've got it in pink because i love pink right now on this island on top we're gonna pop in a little simple kettle you know grandma's making tea She's making some tea. She's so cute. And then also I've got another Hello Kitty planter. I'm obsessed with using these. They help bring, you know, cats to your build. Also, I kind of think I want to stick something behind there. I know the perfect thing. Okay, please look cute because I need you to look cute. Please fit a barrel. Oh my gosh. Of course, it was going to be a barrel. What else would it have been, right? Push the little Hello Kitty planter back on. Oh, I like that. I think that looks so sweet. I think I'm going to move the house over by one. Hear me out as to why. I'm going to move the plot over by one, which is why we haven't put it down yet, which is, is good. I'm glad we didn't. We're going to move it over because I want to add some fencing along here. So actually, let's get rid of it. Let's sort that out first. See, it's going over just by one. I know it's not a square. It's going to look really strange. But at least we know where the house is going to go. I then want to use the vertical board fencing again. I just want to stick that along like so. All the way along. Pull this back by one. Oh, look. It looks like a little gate. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed already. I can't get through, though, because of the chair. That could be our issue here. But it's fine. No, we don't have to fill every tiny little gap. Don't put the vertical board fence away. We need to put some here. 
I think if it looks like it's broken, that might be even better. Because if we do this along here, I am going to do a little bit of a farm here. So I think I'm going to use the actual dirt path. So we're going to use this. I like to call this one mud because it reminds me of mud. The other one is dirt. This one is mud. I need to grab some veggies. But that could be cute. Just a, a small farm. I don't know who's going to live at this little farm yet. I haven't decided. I do need to continue our little road, our little pathway. We need to continue this. I am going to pick this up again so I can do a little bit of a path underneath. Also, I might change you to this and then actually join these. That could be a good idea because then at least it looks like it's leading from somewhere. All right, so we want to bring all this down like so. I think to here is, is reasonable. That's good enough. I'm really enjoying this island. I don't know if I've actually said, I probably have. I've probably said it about a thousand times, but I honestly am. I'm enjoying this island quite a lot. It's been, it's fun. I need to move this fence over just by one. We'll put it back. We'll put it back. Just fit the little end piece in. Although if this is a gate, right? If this is a gate, I feel like I could get away with doing a little bit of the dirt underneath here as well, because it makes sense. I think it makes sense. Obviously, we're going to use the leaf piles and stuff to cover up weird areas. But look, that makes sense. Although, do you know what I'm going to do now? <laughs> I'm pulling it back so I can add a flower code underneath the fence. I want to add a flower code here. Underneath our gate, rather, not our fence. At least that fills that bit and it doesn't look so, so grassy. Okay, looking cute. I'm just trying to decide who should live here. Like, who who have we got already? So we have Lo Lolly could live there. I think Rosie or Lolly could live there. Or even Mitzi, to be honest. I don't really mind who. Any of them could be little farmers. Or even Punchy. We'll decide later. By the end of this video, we'll decide. I'm gonna go grab some bushes and flowers because I feel like we're at that point where we need a few. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is put pearl here, but I don't have pearl yet. So we need to scan in pearl. So for the meantime, we're just going to have to put a random villager there. I don't think I have another house plot. If I do, amazing, but we'll see. Let's do a little bit of decorating behind this bit though, because I don't I don't like how it's just bare. Uh, let's put you there. Oh, we could stick a bush in here. Like I said, I'm trying not to overly decorate areas just because I like the more natural feeling of things. <laughs> If that makes sense. It, it doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. Trust me. Oh, fencing. That's what we could do. Fencing is always good filler. If you want to fill an area, but you don't want to use just bushes and flowers, fencing is your go-to. Fencing is goal. It is. Look at it. Oh, that gap is hideous. Fencing is not go. <laughs> Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. You can't even tell. You can't even tell. I've used a different fence. Okay, that's just made me the happiest person ever, I swear. Also, I'm gonna pick up this chair and I'm gonna stick a card down. Yep, we're gonna do a cute little card. I'm thinking... Oh, this little embroidery. Yes, cute. And then we can put our chair back down and I hope that it goes in the right place. It does too cute. Now we do have some other bits to fill in. I'm not gonna be able to fill them all in just because I feel like I didn't pick up enough stuff. I've just realized that I put two blue hyacinths near each other. That's going to bug me. I think actually it might look nicer if I have a bush there. Yeah and then maybe if we put like a little custom code on the floor under the bridge join. A puddle. I love a puddle. I don't know what it is about this area, but I actually love it. I really want to stick a tree in here, but that may block the house a little bit. It might mean we have to put the house back by one. So if I just get rid of the vertical board fence just in case, because we are going to go grab the house. Oh, that looks so cute. Okay, I'm so happy with how this is coming out. You need to go. Oh my gosh, right. I'm going to grab the house from Tom Nook. Okay, so I, I've gone with a villager that's obviously not going to stay here because we don't have Pearl yet. Ignore his house. It is not going to look good here. Let's see. Let's imagine. So we're one over from where we plan to put the house. Okay, I think that works. Okay. Yes. I think so. Ignore the house. It clearly doesn't fit. But there we go. We've moved Boone. Boone is going to be replaced with Pal. And now some of you do ask me how I get the villagers. I have amiibo cards. So with amiibo cards, you can scan them at the resident services little machine thing. Scan them. Do the little quest, the little build that they ask you to do. Do that three days in a row. And then you can move them in and you can choose where they live. So it's absolutely amazing. So I definitely recommend amiibo cards. But anyway, we're going to get back to building because we're getting there. We actually do want the fence to go behind now. So now we know the placement, we can actually put it there properly. I think just to there for now, because I don't know what I'm going to do 
in the left side here's gonna be a little farm like i said but i did pick up something for the farm already oh yeah stacked bags that's what we've got we've got some little stacked bags give them a little push over there i also did pick up a wooden shed i hope it will look nice here wooden storage shed it's a it's a little garden shed how stinking cute is that we do need to move boone in so that's gonna have to be something you just have to ignore that boone lives there right i need to grab some weeds i don't have any crops yet so i am gonna have to go get some of those in a second so we've got some crops to grow i don't know i'm thinking maybe potatoes and carrots i don't know why cats wouldn't really grow crops but these cats do because they are amazing they're amazing cats oh custom code here oh maybe some drop letters drop letters are always cute that kind of reminds me of love bug it just ever so slightly it does but right, we need to put a bush in this little gap behind here so it fills that out okay the weather is weird again it's sunny again <laughs> Like, literally, it was raining a few minutes ago. Oh, no, I've done a blue flower again. We're going to go for pink. Nice pink flower. And then a yellow on this side. Or even, actually, the lily of the valley could look really nice. Perfect. I, of course, of course, of course, picked up a cruiser bike. You know, this build wouldn't be complete without cruiser bikes. Also, another thing that would not, you know, do well if I missed it out would be a green leaf pile because it's one of my favorite items as we all know by now it is my favorite item ever i will use it as much as possible whenever i can cherry blossom head well in it goes i kind of have decided what i want here i hope that this will fit where i'm stood right windmill we've got a lovely windmill i might even get another windmill Oh, we can put it right up close to the house. Okay, that's even better. So yeah, Pearl is going to have a farm. She's she's farming. She's a farm girl. This was unintentional, by the way. I always love these. I love these unintentional... Oh my gosh, I can't even do the dirt cards. I love these unintentional little pops of imagination of what I could build for that villager that happened. I don't know why. I just do. I like them. And they happened today. So I'm grateful. Thank you for making me build a farm. <laughs> Thanks, brain. We are going to have to move Boone in, so I'm going to have to time travel. Also, we're going to have to move our sweet Pearl in, and that's going to take a little while, but I'll get her done. I'll get her moved in. I think I'm going to try and do it before we have a little look around in the area, because she's the main thing. That's all we're here to see. By the way, give me a Pearl rating. I need how many beans out of 10 for Pearl? I'm going to do a little bit of a grass moment here. Oh, no, I don't think I can. I'm going to have to pick up the windmill. Right, pick up the windmill. There we go, because I'm going to have to to do this bit outside of the house and then oh my gosh we got loads to do i've given myself quite quite the the task right i've given myself quite the task for this build today i'm gonna do fencing just a little bit just just a tiny bit of fencing i'm gonna stop there though i'm not gonna go any further to the left than this just because otherwise i could just keep going i would just go forever and ever actually we're just gonna have to ignore that pearl isn't here because i'm not going to be able to move her in today i am however going to do the fencing just behind this windmill i don't know what i'm going to do here so i'm going to leave this bit because i might actually do oh i know what i could do do i have another one of those wooden partitions i think it's a different color though it's pink pink works oh no it's not gonna work right is it it did over the other side but it won't do it this side do you know what we're just gonna leave that bit we're just gonna leave this bit until later i am gonna do a little pathway still though i think through here i think we're gonna use this one i think to remind myself i'm just gonna put the first couple of pieces down because i will forget i now need to get some crops and move boone in so we can finish this area today ignore his house it's going to look hideous okay so boone's house is moved into place obviously it's not gonna look like that <laughs> it's not gonna stay like that forever but we are gonna start planting some stuff so i was thinking we could do some potatoes right here and then this one i think we could do some wheat I could use the wheat field item, but where's the fun in that? We actually want real vegetables. I'm trying not to use wheat field on this island. We'll see how that goes on the beach. I might use a little bit on the beach. I don't know. It depends how I want the beach to look. I think I used it on Primrose's beach. I can't remember. I'm going to have to go back and look. Right, so there's that one that's wheat. I think I want to do another one here of... Actually, no, we're going to do this as carrots. I think I might make the smaller one wheat, the little four square there, because I didn't want to have any of the other vegetables. The tomatoes, I didn't really want those here i might use them somewhere else i also didn't really want to use the pumpkins i don't know i don't know why and then here we're gonna use the wheat i know i probably could have picked up the seeds but for some reason my brain went to the treasure island 
pick up the actual vegetables well the crops themselves and that was it i didn't think i could just have seeds and it'd probably be a lot easier to plant them but it doesn't matter now because we're done <laughs> i'm gonna pull you forward i would love to stick a bush behind you oh i know i got a better idea i loves me some hedging i do the hedges could look so much better here and then if we put the little windmill back there we go also flicks here today how many beans out of 10 for Flick? I know a lot of us love Flick. We also need another bush because I need a bush to go here. A flower could go here, but also a custom code. Cute old custom code. Maybe a heart. Why not? <laughs> right, we need to do a little bit of a something something over here because this is not it. I hate that this house is going to be in my pictures. I, mean, I could scan around, but it takes so long. <laughs> It takes so long. I'm gonna have to find the time to do it. I will I will find the time. Sometimes I leave the villagers till last minute and I hate myself. I have another window. Wait. I could have used that on this building. Oh, it's too late now. I'm not changing it. We've got rid of that little bit over there. I think I might put some flowers down there. I'm gonna use the dirt. Let's do a little dirt thing. Just to there. And then maybe we'll do some decking. Do I want decking outside? Oh, this is the question. I'm sticking flowers here. No one can stop me. Here goes the flowers. I love the flowers. We're pretty much done with this area. I do need to work on this. I don't know what I'm going to do here. If I'm being honest, I'm just going to leave that bit for now. I want to stick a flower in here. We got a yellow one. How cute. And then obviously down this bit, we're going to do some more flowers. So I need to go get those. I need to get more. So we've only got the blue hyacinth for the moment. I need to figure out what I want to stick here. Okay, so I do want to put a shovel here i just don't have one that isn't gold oh that's gone in the wrong place i don't have a shovel that's gold or not gold rather so i have to go get one from tom nooks i can't speak today i have to go get one from the nooks cranny in just a second hopefully got some cute ones in actually let's just go get it now we might as well just get it it's safe to say they don't have a nice one. Oh, we're just gonna buy this watering can. I'll get a shovel later. So yeah, for now, we're gonna have to make do with just the watering can, but I am gonna stick a shovel right here. So just ignore the gap we have. Oh, we didn't get the bush. It's okay. Right, I am gonna grab a carrot and I'm gonna drop that here. On the heart. You'd think it's a bunny that lives here. <laughs> you think it's a little rabbit, but it's not. Maybe we could drop some more crops. Maybe we grab one of those and one of those. At least we could just drop them. I also do have a little seed what's it called a sapling i was gonna drop that but i don't know where unless we put it on top of here so i was just gonna grab one of these tree saplings and just drop it on there you go oh cute oh i like it i like it a lot ignore this hideous house we're probably going to have to wait to decorate this bit because if i put any furniture down it's going to take the custom code away it's gonna bug me so we might as well leave it but i need to get oh a bush i need that bush let me go get it right there goes a bush i've picked up another one for some reason and i don't know why oh i didn't do the flowers back here oh gosh right here's where the bush was gonna go i remember okay so i need to do those flowers i need a pink and a yellow yeah okay so pink and yellow and then we should be good oh we got a little space here you know what we could do you know exactly what we could do custom code i think that's it i think we're done with the build for today so you know what time it is it is time to have a look around okay so we're over by my house we're gonna head on over this little bridge and you get a cute view of this little fake cottage that we built i definitely want to do some more of those i don't know where and when <laughs> I don't know where it went but we're gonna do some more anyway you can head down this little walkway in front of the cottage i think it's just very cute it looks very simple very adorable it's not very kitty cat related this build i think once i actually move pearl in i can put some cat furniture on this bit so we'll do like a cat tower because i feel like all the cats every cat needs a cat tower so we're gonna do that when we move her in uh, but for now it's just gonna have to stay like this uh, but she's gonna have a little farm like I said, when we move her in, because this is Boone's house, he's not staying here. He's a gorilla. He's clearly not a cat. But yeah, there's a little farm. We got potatoes, wheat, and carrots growing. Don't know where this is going to lead to just yet. I need to figure that out. Also, I want this to lead to somewhere. Also, don't know where to. We're gonna see. I just like this island because I'm just kind of free to just go anywhere with it, you know? It's completely flat. There's no terraforming. The freedom is is great i really like it i'm enjoying this island a lot so far there's also you are able to jump across if you wish to oh no you can't you can <laughs> 
you can jump across. So there we have it. We finished today's build. It came out cute, I think. I definitely excited to expand on these areas and build more and more and more. But I'm having a nice relaxed time building this island. So I'm going to take it slow because that's just how I'm enjoying it. And I hope you're enjoying it too. Anyway, if you did enjoy today's build, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Come join the Jellybean family. Have the loveliest of days and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.